Honestly, if you're going to get to 100, you kind of have to do everything right. There's no guarantee you're getting to 100. You're in really, really rarefied air at that point. The most important thing he has to do is too late, which is you have to pick the right parents. If he doesn't have centenarian genes, like I don't, pretty unlikely you're going to live to 100. But let's just assume that you're going to take everything that's modifiable. At that point, you're doing everything possible, right? You're managing your lipids, your blood pressure, your glucose, all of those things to the level of what somebody would have had in their 20s. And that probably includes a lot of pharmacology to keep those things in perfect shape. You're exercising an hour, six days a week, and, you know, being well thought out between how much of that is strength training versus cardio, not going too, too hard and creating the risk of injury, but also being very consistent and not having long periods of time where you're missing it. You're not eating too much, but you're eating enough protein. You're getting sleep every night. You're managing stress, relationships, all those things. You're probably pretty aggressive on cancer screening because if you're going to get cancer, you're going to have to catch it early. And if you don't, the chances that you're going to beat it are next to nil. But that means you're exposing yourself to more false positives. Basically, if you want to live to 100, it becomes really, really involved.